The Wood Chop is sponsored by Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed Friday's video on the double scoop here. I put the first one up on Etsy and David bought it and he was curious to see how I made him. He saw the videos and he was headed out to the shop to give it a go. I really like all the, all the worm holes in it or all the beetle holes in it, but it's just that one right there is just a little too, I guess, keepsakey for me. It, it would be fine if you just hang it, hung it on the wall. But I think even if you just use this in for a coffee scoop, eventually that would break. It's just really thin. I uh, got some great suggestions on filling it with epoxy or turquoise, which would look really cool, but I think it would be just a lot of sanding. It would have been easier to do when it was still on the lathe, but um, I got a lot of requests too, don't, not to do anything with it. I'm going to put it up on Etsy, but if it doesn't sell, I'm going to go ahead and reshape the, the handle there. But it was a lot of fun. I did get some uh, suggestions too on uh, using denatured alcohol to get the hot glue off because it does break break the wood. Um, actually, if it would have went in any deeper, it probably would have would have popped through. I've never tried it, and I've, a couple people say it doesn't work, and other people say it works, so I'll get some and, and give it a shot and we'll let you know. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. As far as sanding it, I sanded up to, I believe it was 240, soaked it in the oil overnight, and then went all the way up to 600 because the grain does stand back up. So even if you go up to 600, you're gonna to have to, to uh, re-sand it a little too. So keep that in mind, just you don't need to run up all the way. Um, I have a club demo coming up on Thursday. So I'm, there's not enough hours in the day. My son Cameron graduated on Friday. Congratulations again, Cameron. And he's all signed up for the Navy and going in after this summer, so very proud of him all right the club demo is up in washington at ron's club up there and we're doing cryptex uh, uh we're doing the demos on thursday and we're doing a class on friday so this one isn't isn't together i need it in pieces for the demo so we can kind of kind of show how all the all the little pieces lock together um I am doing the inner t uh, tubes too for the class on Friday because it's it's an eight hour class but there's still just uh, it's a long project and tying up forester bits and stuff like that so we're going to do that and I, j those are just out of maple so I'm taking all those baseball bat blanks up there for that um, and Brett sent me this picture from the AEW convention thank you so much Brett he uh, entered this in the instant gallery and put on it that it was inspired by me thank you so much I appreciate that uh, all right, so for, uh, Friday's project coming up. I am making a sand pendulum. I have the Myrtlewood bowl done, and this is going to mount on the on the rim of the bowl there. And I made a plumb bob there. So it has a little cap that goes on the top of it. The string will go inside of it, tie a knot, and then I'll glue that on, and it'll hang down there and rock back and forth in the sand. So I have lathe all set up. I'm finished sanding that. I should have that. Need to have that done by Monday. Today's Monday, right? <laughs> I need to, need to get that done. Um, I have a few, I have some pictures to share. Tim did this. Tim actually sent in two pictures. Then the first one here is a quilted maple, lidded bowl, very nice. And the finial on it is Coco Bolo. It's a beautiful piece. And the second one he sent in, he found the bowl at uh, at the thrift store and made a top for it, turned a top for it. Very nice job, and that's curly maple. And Daniel, he did this uh, French rolling pin for his sister, very nice. And Tony, he did a natural edge bowl, beautiful. And then he filled in all the cracks with epoxy. To, he said <laughs> basically to hold it together, but very nice. And he said it's translucent, you can see, see right through it. Very nice. And Robert. Robert did this stacked box for his son who uh, joined the army. Very nice. And so it's two-tiered. Two and then he put inlaid the, the little plate in the top of it. Very nice job. And the last one here is from Will. He tried to submit these to the website, but the, they were too large a file. They need, I think they need to be under a mag. So if you have problems submitting the pictures to, to the website, uh, just uh, go ahead and you can always email them to me at jacobson68 at yahoo but uh, he did this and I believe in the original email he said it was for, like a, there was a game that the layout they did on it but very nice nice job 
All right, I think that is about it. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday on my main channel. There'll be a link at the end of the video. All right, till next time, take care.